Hey, I'm Brittany Saturn. And I'm Brian Belcher. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Forest, Forest Life. Life. Um, we're back. Um, you may have noticed that we have been a little off the last couple of days. Including today and tomorrow. I have a moon in my pocket. Holy shit, Brittany. That's no oh, moon. What the hell happened? I think it actually is a moon, though. It is a moon. <laughs> it's the moon. So, I don't know if you guys can tell from my voice, but I'm sick. Yeah. I think I got the stomach flu from MAGFest. Uh, and I'm cracking a whip. We're getting things done regardless. So, whatever. Don't let him fool you guys. <laughs> um... But yeah, we are officially back from MAGFest, and we are tired, and I'm sick. Oh, I don't think Brian's sick. I'm not sick, but I am exhausted. He's using that as an excuse to nap all day. I have been getting a lot of things done. <laughs> don't let Brittany fool you. We're nowhere near a thing! No, not this time. So I kind of forgot what we were working on, so I'm going to have to just kind We've of been wander on, around and see what's going on. We've been working on paying off for houses and the snowman stuff. Okay. Hey, Diana. What's up? I mean, Fuchsia, what the fuck? Who, Diana. <laughs> Diana was another deer I used to have in my old town. Okay, I was about to say. She was like white and pink. She really wants a bag worm. Well, sure, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I was like, are you talking about Diana or, like, the, Princess uh, Diana, yes. Sure. Well, I was thinking more of our volunteer at MAGFest. <laughs> Her name's Diana, not Diana. Close enough, though. That's not close enough. What if someone called you Brain? And People do. And then you were like, oh, my name's Brian, and they were like, close enough. People do. Yeah, and how does it make you feel, Brian? Makes you feel not super great, so. It really did, and Please call people by their proper names. My Valentine's Day card was always wrong. From the kids when I was a kid. <laughs> he wrote brain. Yeah. That's the first time I actually realized that my name was really, was very similar to the word brain. Yeah. But first of all, not only did they misspell it brain, but my name doesn't even have an I in it. My name has a Y in it. Well, they spell brain with a Y? No, they missed, they just put an I in it and misspelled it. Wow. They just did not give a fuck. And I was like, I like, even as a kid, I was like, well, this is kind of funny. Yeah. They, this person just did not know what the fuck they were doing. So, I, my name is Brittany, obviously, um, and there's so many different ways to spell Brittany growing yeah, up that yeah. no one can ever get it right. Um, there was all these crazy variations. And then there was this girl I went to high school with who ended her name, her name was Brittany, but she ended it with an I. Instead of that, a y. yeah, I've seen that like twice in my life. I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> well, pe like Whoa. the parents of our generations uh, were like, "Let's be weird," you know, <laughs> for the most part. Well, I realize now that Brittany, my middle name is Nicole. Brittany Nicole is like a very '80s name. Yeah. In fact, my mom told me that she stole the name Brittany Nicole from a girl she used to run track with in high school. Yeah. I was like, wow, great. <laughs> Can't even come up with something original. So not only is my name super unoriginal because there's a million Brittany Nicoles, you straight up stole a name from somebody. Great. <laughs> what do you expect from uh, a 17-year-old? Your mom was really young when you yeah, she was pregnant. Yeah, my mom was really young with me. So, yeah, she was just doing the best she could. She was just two American kids doing the best she We've could. We've done this joke. Stop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Get a new joke. Brian is the joke police right now. <laughs> Be better. <laughs> Be better. All right. You know what? I'm really high on cough medicine right now. So I'm super sorry. This honestly just feels like a dream to me right now. So that reminds me of Meg Manthon too. <clears throat> you already told this story before. I did. A but have I told times. it on this show? Yes, you have. All right. Well, then we're done. See? That's how that works, Brittany. Okay. You don't have to be so damn sassy I about it. I said I was done. Brian, Sass attack. Brian, you're hurting my feelings right now. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. By the way, the uh, gold statue's real. Because his hands aren't out. He's got, like, a fist instead of, like, the hand but straight out. But this one's out. always real. Okay. Which one do you want? I want the statue. If that thing's always real, then let's get the statue while it is real. This one? Uh-huh. Watch it not be real. If it's not real, I'll owe you 3,920 bills. <coughs> Alright, let's see here. 
Well, while we're doing that, while you are... <laughs> while I'll be completely silent. Sorry, guys. I was taking a little drink of my cranberry juice. Uh, I got some weird shit to talk about because today's National right. Day. It's a national day. national day. Today is National Day. Wow, just it's like National every, National Day. Just like every other fucking day. Uh, they, you know what? Every day is a national something day, and today is no exception. We're going to prove it. Brittany, here's a weird one. Today is... National Oysters Rockefeller Day. Oysters Rockefeller. What is Oysters Rockefeller? Is oysters. Like a way you eat them? Uh, it is a way to prepare open face oysters. Open face oysters. So you get your. Uh, I like to look my oysters in the eyeball when I eat them. Exactly. Uh, that Well, the whole thing feels like an eyeball, so <laughs> go with it. So I like oysters, like steamed. I do not. I've never tried raw oysters, but it doesn't sound like anything that I would like. He's almost dead, Brittany. Almost. Almost out of misery. He says, someday soon I'll need to grow up big and snowy like my pop. T- too uh, bad he too won't. Too bad. <laughs> um, so this method is, um, is baked. <clears throat> it's a baked uh, oyster. Oh, but okay. it's been breaded. And it has like a weird creamy paste that it's been put on top of it, on top of the uh, oyster. And the, the the as the story goes is that it's so rich in flavor and in texture that only one name could be associated with it, and that's the Rockefellers. The Rockefellers. So that's why it's called the Oyster Rockefeller. Okay. Which is as bullshit <laughs> of a story as it comes. Yeah, that sounds pretty bullshit to me. Um, but. Yep, and they also have a whole na- a whole day celebrating it for some reason. Honestly, it doesn't look that appealing to me. I'd rather just have steamed oysters. Yeah, I'm all about some steamed oysters, but um, like I like the steamed oysters that are mostly steamed, but a little bit of raw on the inside, like not fully cooked. Uh, those are good as well, and um, oh, medium rare oysters. <laughs> yeah, medium rare oysters, like um. Uh, I've had them steamed at, like, at the beach in salt water. Mm-hmm. It's really good that way. I've dove into the ocean and just picked out oysters and ate them. Oh. I just ate them shell and all. That's why my belly jingle jangles. <laughs> That's what I thought you were about to say. With your stories. It's right. true. All right, so today's Oyster Day. What else is today? It's also Bittersweet Chocolate Day. Oh, gross. Today's terrible. (laughs) It's a cooking cooking chocolate day, basically. Oh, gross. Celebrate all the benefits of bittersweet chocolate. That's not even semi-sweet. That's bittersweet. Yep, yep. So there's a bunch of them. Go look them up. I didn't. Were you guys ever, like, in your parents' or grandparents' that cabinet, uh-huh. and then you found like a bar of bittersweet chocolate for baking, and you were like, oh, sweet, a candy bar, and then you ate, bit into it, and then your fucking soul left your body because it was gross. Is there's nothing, there's nothing like being lied to for your whole life, <laughs> knowing that chocolate is a sweet thing. I didn't see another um, and then, snowball anywhere. And then biting into a thing of bittersweet chocolate, and then having... All the all all the, all the things that are holding your world together fall down. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> but I have something that is pretty funny. Okay, along tell those me lines. something really funny. So I guess in this episode, we're just gonna dive into all of my mother's past mistakes. All right. Uh, when she was a kid, she thought those like chicken and beef bouillon cubes for candy. Uh huh. <laughs> because they're like wrapped in a foil Uh and she opened one up and popped it in her mouth and it was not candy it was not candy (laughs) alright let's call this episode Francis fuck ups we're on a roll already Uh, by the way that's Brittany's mom's name her name is Francis she hates her name though she hates her name she's like oh it's a terrible name she was named after her father (laughs) yeah so I I call her that there it is I call her that on purpose most of the time and I think she's gotten used to it now. Well, everybody calls her Frances. That's her name. Yeah, but I don't think she liked me using her name at first. <laughs> what else were you supposed to call her? That's what I told her. <laughs> she brought it up one time. And no, she didn't. She did, too. Oh, my God. No, she didn't. She did, too. <laughs> what did she say to you? She was like, she was like, why do you always use my name? I was like, well, what the fuck else do you want me to call you? <laughs> I'm not calling you mom. <laughs> It's like, I like you, but not that much. I don't believe you. That happened. It happened when we lived in Winston-Salem the second time. Mm, okay. 
whatever. <laughs> I did use Francis like almost you're probably ev- twice using a sentence. It like, yeah, you're probably using it too much. You're probably like, ah. Oh. Like I was like, hi, you- Francis. How can I help you, Francis? Francis, <laughs> what you? Yeah, I was, go- I was doing that. You I was are so be- obnoxious. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to be obnoxious either. That yeah, just ha- you No, did. I was not. Oh, my God. <laughs> it just happened. Wow. But, uh, Great. <laughs> so, yeah. She should be proud of her name. <laughs> All right, there, brain, brain bleacher. <laughs> D- that's not my name, though. <laughs> you should be proud of it, Brian. I'm not proud of something that I'm not. Okay. My name is Brian Belcher. Her <laughs> name is Francis. I used her name. <laughs> you done fucked up, Brittany. <laughs> you done fucked up. This is a Francis fuck up. That's no, all right. <laughs> because. <laughs> Because you know what? You fucked up and your I mom made you. So that, that fuck up it belongs to your mom. Oh gosh. So Brad, uh, this is officially the day after MAGFest, even though we're in the future and everything's weird. Tell us about some MAGFest stuff. I'm not done with national days. Oh. All right, well, you were going on a tangent racket of my mom, so I thought you were done over there. No, nope, no. Nope. Today is also <laughs> Damn, somebody's dominating the conversation. <laughs> Whatever, sick lady. I'm over here at least talking. <clears throat> the fucking moon. I think that's awesome. I'm trying to talk. Yes. But it's hard. I know you are. Um, today is also National Cut Your Energy Cost Day. Cut yourself in half. Cut, Cut your, your life, your life into, pieces. into pieces. Is this your last resort? You said PCs. <laughs> Uh, so you are s- <laughs> sniffly and whatnot. Here's my problem: I have a chapped lips, and my lips—if I move them too much, they rip in half again. <laughs> Whatever. And he is exaggerating. And um, so I have to move my mouth weird to not rip my lips open. Like Mick Jagger. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, that actually hurts. That hurts a lot, actually. I'd probably ow. But um, no, cut your energy cost day is like make sure that there's no like weird leaks around your windows or whatever. We should have done that back in November. Yeah, and because uh, December is the highest like electricity month and, ever, and a bunch of other like cost efficient energy saving techniques and whatnot. Do that. Go do that. Um, and then finally we have National S- Save the Eagles Day. Save the Eagles. This day. is when we all decide that we are now going to go to Middle Earth and we go <laughs> and tell Gandalf the you motherfucker just get the Eagles, get the Eagles and take the Eagles to make the Eagles take the goddamn ring to Mordor and fly back. It's that easy. It's that easy. That's what this day celebrates. I'm just letting you go. <laughs> Actually, no. Uh, today we celebrate all the endangered eagle species that are uh, around the world. Uh, we want to raise awareness. Bald eagles were on the endangered species uh, list until 2010, I believe. Oh, really? They take them off? They took them off. They had a, they had a resurgence. That doesn't mean we can't... Uh, we shouldn't be like, you know... Doesn't mean to go out and shoot you a bald eagle or anything, <laughs> but uh, I never understood like trophy hunting. Yeah, me neither. I get like regular hunting if you're doing it for food and stuff. Uh huh. Um, but I mean, nobody's gonna eat a fucking bald eagle, you know? No, so, no. So I never understood trophy hunting. I always thought it was really weird. So that's a thing. <clears throat> uh, but, don't yeah. do that. That's terrible. Duh, should, so I mean, if you have to hunt to eat, then that's the one thing. But don't fucking just go out and shoot an animal because you want it you know like yeah fucking lame you're fucking lame <laughs> so yeah today's save the eagles day and uh Brittany so has some strong can, opinions on it you can celebrate today by not killing any don't eagles. kill any eagles we're all celebrating this day pretty much we're all it's a good day very guys we're just not today. gonna kill any eagles now if you do accidentally kill an eagle please uh please uh notify the closest uh uh animal people Brittany, you knew How would you people. accidentally kill an eagle? Some people, they do get hit by cars and whatnot. You people, almost hit a, a bird with their car on the way back from Memphis. Yeah, I, it was a hawk. Um, that was weird. And, uh, I didn't know. <coughs> I didn't know what to do with myself. It didn't, though. It dove out just in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, looked down for a split second, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, He's like, that bird was flew to the car! It was a huge bird! It was a huge bird. It's like the si- like, its wingspan was, like, the sh- size of, like, my hood. 
Hey, Brian, do you smell that? Yeah. That's Hutch burning the cookies. <laughs> Hutch is burning the cookies. Hutch is currently burning cookies right now. Mmm, burnt cookies. He was like, who wants cookies? And then he put them in the oven and ran to the back room and didn't set a timer or anything. Yeah, I can hear him laughing in the back room right now. Oh, yeah, they've definitely been in there for too long. That's fun. Where's the 42? Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Sometimes I can't see numbers. Well, Brittany, while we're at it, let's go ahead and run right into birthdays. Okay, yeah, tell us what's It's been birthdays. a wild ride already with National Days. Let's let's go into birthdays. <laughs> wild ride. It's a already. wild ride. It's a wild ride. Me and Brittany are like, Brittany's sick what's and and sniffly and. Oh, yeah, it's been the worst kind of sickness too. It's like upset stomach. Uh, mm-hmm. got body aches and chills. It's terrible. And I'm, you should if you. You should just never go out in uh, public. And I'm just tired and stupid. <laughs> KK Gumbo. Gumbo. Let's like. hear what this is like. Makes me hungry. We had some good gumbo while we were at MacFest. Yeah, Tanner made it for us. Tanner made this awesome gumbo for everybody, and it was just, it tasted really great. <laughs> yeah, it was really good. Anyway, let's go into birthdays real quick. Uh, first of all, if it's your birthday today, happy birthday happy to birthday. you. Happy birthday. Sorry we're day late, um, <laughs> but we still love you. We do still love you. And, and uh, thank you for watching yep. uh, Animal Crossing today. We're going to have we're gonna have a couple of hiccups like these every now and then, but... Uh, un- we'll ma- straighten it out. We'll straighten it out. We're going to straighten it out. And I think MAGFest, MAGFest is probably the best reason to yeah. have these problems. Yeah, probably. Um, you celebrate your birthday with some interesting and awesome people. My favorite, uh, is George Foreman. It's his birthday George today. George Foreman? Born in 1949. He's an American world heavyweight champion from 73 to 74 and 1995. That's a weird gap. And he also makes grills. And he is the <laughs> creator of the grill, who, George Foreman, uh, grills. And holy shit. George made a lot of food for us this past weekend. He sure did. Tanner loves his George Foreman <laughs> grill, and uh, he made it. May, uh, that was like every quesadilla was made with that mm-hmm. thing. Every sandwich he grilled it too. A lot of so sandwiches nice. were grilled. It was good stuff. I had a good time with that. But that's not it, Brittany. It's also Rod Stewart's birthday. Rod Stewart. He was born in 1945. He's a British British singer. You might know him for such songs like Maggie May and Do You Think I'm Sexy? <laughs> the Chips Ahoy cookie commercial. <laughs> exactly. The Chips Ahoy cookie commercial. That's how you know it's family friendly. That's how you know. And then finally, it's also Pat Benatar's birthday. Nice. Pat Benatar was born in 1953. And you might know her from such hits like "Hit Me with Your Best Shot," and then uh, and also she's a Minotaur. She's also a Minotaur. Pat Minotaur to Minotaur. Pat Minotaur. <laughs> yep. Brian is so upset right now. I'm not upset at all. I'm just like I'm going. I'm rolling with this. <laughs> I just I'm just tired, and my face looks like I hate everyone. Oh, okay, sorry. He can't what? smile. His lips will crack. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Like Hutch came in here and told this great joke, and I had to sit still because if I if I laughed how I wanted to, I would have busted my lip open again. But she's also known for other songs like "Love Is uh, uh, Love Is Like a Battlefield" and a few other things. Love is a battlefield. She's got like nine songs on Rock Band. They're all pretty great. And then finally, if you have the horse name Pappy in your town, Pappy, Pappy, uh, Pappy, Pappy. Pappy. He's in your town. He likes safe furniture and beige things. Safe furniture and beige things. That's the most boring fucking animal. <laughs> They've can... all been kind of boring at the beginning yeah, of the year. Yeah, they're all safe things. And they're Except all... for that one animal that was like, I don't like any colors. <laughs> yeah, that one was cool. I think it was more of like, they didn't have a favorite color, but it was just the way it was worded on the website. Uh-huh. It's like, none. I'm like, none. oh, okay. No colors. They no don't colors. like colors. They can't see colors. That's what it is. Maybe they were a dog. Yeah, hopefully. I think that's BS. I think dogs can see. No, dogs color. have see dogs just see less colors than us. Uh, you know how um, we can see three main colors and that like they mix together to make all the other colors that we see. Yeah. Dogs see two main colors. Okay, what colors do you know? Uh, red. Oh no, excuse me. The red's not it. It's blue and yellow. Blue so and we yellow. have red, blue, and yellow. So they can see oranges, or they can't see oranges or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So they have cool. they have less colors that they can see. Also, but here's a fun fact: their eyes are technically faster than ours. So when we're watching TV or whatnot, that screen is uh, blinking sixty times a second. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, and we can't notice that. It's our eyes are too slow to notice that. But dogs can. Whoa! The fuck? That's nothing. <laughs> but dogs can notice that speed. Yeah. So whenever they're watching TV, it looks like um, it's kind of like when you're in a rave and there's a, a strobe light going on and you see people in different positions. You know what? You yeah. Know, that like break off. Yeah. That's what watching TV for dogs is like. Oh, dang. That sucks. So, but that's what gets their attention, though, is like flicking lights. Yeah. So that's why dogs like to look at TVs. Okay. Science. Science about dogs watching TV. Um, but yeah, apparently that's <laughs> only for like old TVs though, like CRTs and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So like our phones and like new flat screen TVs and whatnot. Yeah. They do, uh, they do a hundred times a second, which is fast enough for dogs to see, uh, full images. I love that you know all this information about dogs and TVs. <laughs> and you also have like updated information about dogs and TVs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that is amazing. I'm really impressed right now. <laughs> That's like one of the <laughs> dumb things I know. Great. <laughs> yep. I don't know. I don't even know where that was stored at, but oh it's in there. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Never heard you talk about that before. So now I know. All yeah. right. Well, I think I'm going to go sell this stuff. Uh, that's actually the uh, cats have right, the which, opposite problem. Which pretz- or which thing do you think represents peaches, pretzels, or chocolate? Chocolate. All the way chocolate? All the way chocolate. <laughs> Uh, definitely baking chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Definitely the dark bitter kind. It's national nice, uh, nice. dark bitter shitty chocolate day. <laughs> she doesn't want to be represented by that. Yeah. That's funny, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I'm going to sell this stuff, and then I'm going to put the music in the house, and I think we'll be pretty much be finished yeah, for yeah. Our, our first guys, day back. Guys, we're tired, so we might have a couple of short days yeah. for the next couple of days. Uh, we're going to get some stuff done, though. Uh, we are going to be back on schedule ASAP. ASAP. And uh, probably by uh, the 12th, we'll be back on schedule. But um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Yeah, thank you guys. And uh, thank you for sticking around for the dumb stuff. <laughs> We've got a lot of exciting things coming up this year. Uh, some cool things happened at MacFest. Uh, we actually broke the world record. We yeah. broke the world record for most wizards in one place. Yeah, that was super awesome. Um, that was it so was, many wizards. It was surreal. I think the official count was like 506. Dude, yeah, it was right? it was uh, five sixty two something like that. Um, but there was close to a thousand wizards there. It was just impossible to count that many people in three hours. Well, yeah, and on top of that, like over time, a lot some people left because you had to stay in the same area. But our area doesn't really have a bathroom, so uh, I don't really blame people for leaving if they have to. Yeah, know? yeah. But it doesn't matter because we still like we s- beat the crap. Yeah, out we of beat that the shit out of the record, so. so we're happy. Uh, we actually announced there it was like six thirty. Yeah, it was like six thirty there, but, but they had to like. But when we did the recount, it was it wound up being five sixty two. Yeah, yeah. So, but I swear there was probably like a thousand. Oh yeah, there, so. we actually like the prim- prim- uh, preliminary list was over a thousand. Yeah, so it was kind of out of control. So um, was... I did not have time to make a costume, so I was a trash wizard, and it was a lot of fun. <laughs> It was a lot of fun. The whole the whole event was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I had a megaphone and I got the yell at wizards for like two hours. It was great. Seems nice. And uh, but yeah, we'll tell you guys some more about Mega yeah, Marathon we'll talk and some more about uh, it tomorrow. whatnot tomorrow. Oh. All right, bye guys. Bye guys.